What's going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody soon now. I want to talk about this uh, melanated female restaurant tour. So, Bia Lewis. She has gone public about the fact that not only was she in a situationship or the side lady to billionaire richest black man in Africa, Aliko Dangote. She's talking about how he broke her heart in a thousand pieces. And this was sort of like her, I guess, uh, 2021 uh, post about the future, about the past and what she's learned. As you can see here from this article, this is the Instagram post here where she basically spoke about her situation. And we're going to get into that. But I, I want to speak on what's been happening with a lot of these particular women. Now, she actually has four children. And she's, of course, a single mother. Three hers, and I believe one is adopted. And for her to be dealing with this guy, you know, she's American. He's from Nigeria. And they have this situationship. And I'm pretty sure she may or may not have known that he has dealt with other women because, you know, he has all these particular side pieces. She was one of them. Now, I don't know if she was expecting more out of the situation. Maybe she thought that he would choose her and he sort of pushed her to the background. But in these situations, man, you have women looking to level up. Now, we can consider this a level up fail because you have women on social media, especially YouTube, talking about how they want to level up and get a rich man as if it's that simple. It's that easy. If this particular woman here, all right, she's a restaurateur, you know, I'm pretty sure she's educated. She's somebody that has a certain vision about how she sees things and she still wasn't able to win this guy over. It lets me know that um, it's not looking too good for a lot of you potential level up. I'm looking for a rich man, particular females. It may not be looking good for you in this particular moment, but let's get into this article from lifestyle.com thecable.ng he says a lady identified as Bia Lewis has claimed she has dated Aliko Dangote a Nigerian businessman she took to her Instagram page on Thursday to recount how the billionaire broke my heart into a thousand pieces long after the romantic escapade in the post which appeared to be a reflection of the year 2020 Lewis shared pictures of herself uh, which include a photo that showed her caressing Dangote on his left chin. The lady with the Instagram handle I am Bia Lewis said that dating Africa's richest man earned her a consistent fitness regime and had her become a vegan. Lewis added that being with Dangote also got her pro uh, got her a profitable stock portfolio all right and change her perspective on work ethics and upped her overall financial portfolio i did the richest black man in the world he broke my heart in a thousand pieces i learned more from him than any person i've ever met communicating with a billionaire daily makes you see the world differently she wrote i would assume it was i would assume it was and, and hopefully that's what she took from it. And a lot of times, man, you don't hear that. A lot of you hear women when they get with these guys who are millionaires and billionaires. It's all about the lifestyle, you know, what he can do for for her, you know. And maybe she's trying not to look like a gold digger. Maybe she's trying to make it seem like, you know, she was with him for the journey, you know, just for a learning experience. Maybe she was. But you also have to look at it as to why do you think he broke your heart into a thousand pieces if both of you weren't in a relationship? You weren't in a relationship like that. You were having a situation. You were one of many women that this dude is dealing with. Him and his side pieces are going back and forth with each other right now. This guy has a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot that he's dealing with. And for the most part, I don't think he was looking to settle down, even though he's, what, 63? You know, this guy is still out here living that bachelor lifestyle. I'm telling you, 
There are guys who would rather just be single and play the field, no matter what their age is. They're not looking to settle down. They may have been married before. They're not looking for that right now. And I believe she was looking for more, and he basically had to let her know, listen, this not going to go any farther than what it is. But I appreciate you. See, I became more organized and finally am able to step away from the daily kitchen operations. I learned love without strings. Give your best without expectations. Nothing is forever. I realized a half a million dollar restaurant project was a bad investment. I purchased two properties. I started a consistent fitness regime, uh, regime and became a vegan. Obtained a profitable stock portfolio. He changed my perspective on work ethic and patience. Once my mindset changed, the universe gravitated to me, gravitated me to people that uplifted me and increased my net worth mentally and financially in 2021 and powerful encounters. Well, I guess she is 33. She's in a 33 year. I will say this. And, and again, she is being honest about this, but listen, did you really need to go public? That's the question I have. If this guy was a regular nine to five guy, right? Or even a small business guy, He's not even a millionaire, a small business guy. Do you think she would have went public with this? But she wanted the world to know that she dated a billionaire because she feels like it's going to up her value with this guy when she really did not have to say anything. And I've said this like in my previous videos, man. You have instances where the ex is very difficult for the ex to walk away. It's very difficult for the ex to say, you know what, I'm done with this relationship it, it, we're, we're not together anymore. You go your way, I go mine. But the fact that she puts this out here, she's naming names, dates, places, photos, <laughs> you know, it's like, what? what's the point? And I have told y'all, whenever a relationship breaks up, if it seems like it's amicable, they're releasing joint statements, it's usually because that woman wanted out of that relationship more than that man. But she has, but she's probably negotiated her way out of that relationship to where that guy is like, okay, fine. Maybe we'll work it out another time. But when a guy leaves a relationship, like we believe so in this situation, there are women who cannot get over that. They just cannot get over that. They can't get over being rejected. And I believe he rejected her and told her, you know what? This ain't working. I got like 10, 20 other women I'm dealing with. I don't have time for this. I appreciate it, though. You're a good person. <laughs> and and best of luck to your future endeavors. You know, it, it, women can't take that. They can't take that level of rejection. Since Lewis also went on, went ahead to share what appeared to be a stock certified certi uh, certificate along uh, alongside videos of herself in the gym. Some Nigerians have taken to Twitter to react as words of Lewis claims of dating that Godi continue to spread. I'd say Nigerian Twitter is hilarious at times when I've um, saw articles that link back to Twitter or you know certain tweets going viral into the Nigerian Twitter. It can be funny. Uh, it says, first time I'm seeing a lady put up a sweet note about someone who shattered her heart. No curse, no regret, cause of what? He's Dan Godi, the richest black man. All right. Even with this busy schedule, and go to still found time to break hearts. What's your excuse? As you can see there, <laughs> they is single though. But the main story here is how ladies can't move on quietly without making a mess. Plus, she won't do this if he wasn't a billionaire. I dated the richest black man, shaking my head. Yeah, and I've said this, man. I have said this over and over. There are women out here who refuse to let go if they were let go. If they were handed their pink slip, they're not going to go quietly. And I've shown y'all instances of situations where there are women that still to this day can't let go. They can't let go of what they feel like they have lost. That relationship is a wrap. This guy had gave, it basically told her, you know, I don't really need you anymore, you know, but we had a good time. You know, I, I helped you invest in some things and, and put you up on some game. But, you know, even at the end of 2020, going into 2021, 
she still finds the time to think about this guy. And what she doesn't understand is when other men in her future see this, they are going to look at her a different way because they were probably guys out here that viewed her as high quality. They say, okay, you know what? Even though she's a single mom, she's a businesswoman, seems very intelligent about her business. But then you see where she was basically the side piece to a billionaire who cut her off. <laughs> you know, he, he, he basically let her go from the team. And there are dudes who are going to look at her a certain way. They go to this ex side chick, just called him out. All right. History will have it that Dangota was the last man to be dragged in 2020 and would also be the first to be dragged in 2021. Even Dangota uh, collect him dragged before 2020 and what a year. It's uh, listen, man, sometimes you just got to move on. Sometimes you got to understand it didn't work out. To, to dwell on this, people break up all the time. But to dwell on this, I think it, it served two reasons. One, she wanted a little payback. Yes, she did. She wanted a little payback. And two, this was a way for her to sort of go into a new year to get him off of her mind. And 2020 may not have been a you know may not have been the best year uh, for her situationship, but for other things, you know, it might have been extreme loneliness. She may not have found anybody. I don't think she's found anybody since. Uh, a lot of these women put themselves back uh, because they're trying to chase something that can't be chased. You know, you you got these particular females get on social media and they tell these women, go get a rich man as if it's that easy. If it's that easy, then how come you don't have a billionaire? How come you don't have a multimillionaire? You have a guy who has a good job and you want to tell other women what they can get, but you ain't got that because it's a pipe dream. They're not being realistic to these women. She saw the brass ring and, and, and it was close, but it was yanked back and she was brought back down to earth. That's how it seems, but you know.